Hello again, and welcome to another exciting episode of Troglodytes Pet Protectors. In this episode, we're going to make our animal sanctuary. Probably going to do it mostly in fast forward, just because I want time to kind of look around and say, you know what, that block shouldn't go there, and that block shouldn't go there. And I'm not sure that I can actually give a comprehensive analysis as to why I'm putting one thing here or one thing there, and it's going to be pretty boring if it's just silent silence of me being silent I don't know <laughs> um, I got the pink jellyfish here there it is spent a little time off camera fishing for him didn't take that long maybe a few minutes over in the ocean biome so I was correct that it is over there um, I plan on making a kind of pumpkin -y house uh, I don't know why I don't have a reason I try to get green stuff and purple stuff purple stuff that's orange and uh, I even got some pumpkin seeds. And I even got a couple of these marigolds. Because even though they're supposed to be yellow marigolds, they're looking a little orange to me. So I'm going to put those around the place. There are a number of aquariums, or terrariums rather, that we can build, but we can't build yet. Because the update hasn't rolled out. With the next update, which they said would be in the first quarter, which means maybe within the next month or so, um, they're going to have a bunch of butterfly terrariums and uh, fireflies and jars and uh, other such things. Maybe even scorpions. I still haven't seen that listed as a possible in the next update, but it's not available now, I don't think. I did a lot of research. I looked online for like 20 minutes, like, are scorpions available? And I couldn't get a direct answer for console. So I'm not sure uh, when that update is going to actually happen. But it might happen on the next update. And we might get scorpions. That would add another one. As it stands now, with the next update, we'll get 11 more um, items that we can place. I think enough talking. I think it's time to start building. This is going to be fun. Haven't had a buildy episode in a while. <laughs> I'm going to tear down these trees first just because I don't know if I want a tree. Maybe, uh, maybe this world or this uh, animal sanctuary doesn't need trees. And if I do need trees, I can always plant a couple trees later, so get off my back. <laughs> and just trying to clean up the place. And I'm about to go into fast forward any second now, but I'm going to give you a heads up before I do it. And here's the heads up. Here I go. Boom.
Okay, uh, it needs work. Um, I'm going to call this a first draft. I mean, the pumpkin isn't really pumpkin-y enough. <laughs> the wall, I'm not sure if I like the mudstone brick. I might want to change the color. I want to round this off and make it, again, look more pumpkin-y. But I don't want, at the same time, I don't want it to be too thick, though. Weird thing happened, you might have noticed at the tail end of that video, this video, um, when I broke open the grasshopper, or I picked it off the shelf, uh, it was out of its cage, so I had to put it back in its cage, I didn't think that was possible, I don't think it's supposed to be possible, I think that's a glitch, but, uh, I mean, it's not a game breaker or anything, I just put it back into another terrarium, I lost one terrarium, not a big deal. Uh, I, I wanted to put windows up here, but when I put them there, I thought that it would really contrast with the glass, and I didn't like that idea. Even now, it looks pretty busy, uh, with the torches and stuff. The only reason I put these little pieces of pumpkin here was just to try to match the bottom shelf that had pumpkins arrayed over the tables. Um... I feel like I want to get rid of some of the clutter. I'm thinking maybe I could, like, cheat a little bit. Uh, to make this stand out a little bit better and just use like black paint around the terrariums or inside the terrariums rather so it's it's pretty clear that these are separate from all the other busyness that's around here um, and I think that actually might be what I will do these doors 
<laughs> Once I put them on, I realize they look pretty bad, as thin as they are. Uh, so I, I decided I'll leave them open, and I'll just build it with the thing open. But that causes its own set of problems, because it is Spawn City in there. <laughs> and it's it's pretty ridiculous. Okay. Uh, I want this rounder. You can only get so much roundness if you're not going to cheat and use a program to figure it out for you. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. I didn't do that with my Kool-Aid man. I'm not going to do it with this. Now, I did say that it needs work, but I don't want you to take that to mean I think it doesn't look good. I actually do think it looks pretty good. I just think it could look better. Uh, definitely look better. I have pride in my work. And I want it to be its best. Ooh, that's, that's already a little bit better, rounding out those corners there. I think it just needed to be thicker. Although, now I'm starting to get a little ward on the side of it from, from augmenting it too much. There we go. Let's thin that out a bit. Oops. 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 Holy. It's a holy thing. Alright. I might want to make the base of the root here a little bit thicker as well. I'm using cactus and mudstone brick for that. I thought it would be nice to add contrasting colors in the stem here. Um, can I reach that from over here? Yes, I can. Break this open. Okay, does that look a little better? Pick that up. Thank you. Yeah. Looks a little bit better. When you don't want to cut, cheat. Yeah, I want me a nice thick stem there. Yeah, it's definitely looking better with, with the rounder, rounder pumpkin-y edges. And I think the black paint, or some kind of paint, is a good idea too. And I could put windows up top here, and that might balance out the windows down there. And I got these candelabras, and they actually look pretty good, they just don't... They're, they're kind of contributing to the busyness, <laughs> for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why. I could remove these candles, and that would probably help with, again, that busyness. Um, but I need light, or it's just going to be a shadowy tomb in here. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I think, like I said, that it looks pretty good. It just needs a little bit of help. Uh, there are going to be issues in the future when we get those butterfly jars and black scorpion cages and whatever. Because they're going to have to go in here, and it might require me to rearrange uh, a lot of this stuff. And, I mean, there's a lot of room up here that can be utilized. I can take these candelabras and raise them up on a shelf or something. And I, I kind of actually want to do that now. Let me try that. Just for giggles. Just for giggles. We're giggling. Okay. Hmm. I like them better up there. I like it better with the, the, the platform a little more free. Alright, I think that's a good move. And maybe if I got a different color candle. Because it's like orange, orange. What if I put like a green there? And then it's just more green. Hmm. Things to think about. Things to think about. What does it look like from far away? <laughs> Looks pretty sad looking from far away. Maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> should look at it on the map. Oh, boy. All right. Like I said, I could put some glass up here. Some windows up here. At, at first, I thought, well, maybe what if I make the face of a pumpkin, like a jack-o'-lantern? Like, I could put uh, eyes here and then a nose and a mouth. But, again, all these terrariums would really clash with it. And it would overlap, and it just wouldn't look right. Hmm. Okay, what about the... Yeah, I could still do the marigold thing, can I? I already got one here. What do I know? And I got a jack-o'-lantern. A jackie-lantern. 
And I got one of these things. I got a bunch of things thinking I'd mess around. Okay. Does this give off light or is this just a regular jack-o'-lantern? Oh, wow, that gives off light. That's actually kind of cool looking. I like it there. Okay, let me get rid of this pumpkin, though. I don't like that pumpkin. Oh, yeah, that's... That's the stuff right there. I can't place them because of the background walls. Okay, we got this figured out. I know this game. I know this game's trying to mess with me. In fact, I don't probably want this connected anyway. When I dug up the little floating island here, I made a lot of this wall unnecessary. I still want it to show that that this is connected to something. But uh, it doesn't have to be that big. I'm trying to make it look rough and natural. Oh, natural. Oh, that's... Wait, wait. What? Oh, that's it. That's it. It's the little touches. All right. And... Good. Okay, good. And maybe another one over here. Okay, and this lamp kind of looks like a cactus. Well, it is a cactus lamp, so that makes sense. <laughs> that looks pretty good. What if I remove the torch now? Ooh. Okay, so I could get another cactus lamp and put it there. Let me do that now. I was going to end the episode. Let's do it now. Let's do it live. Do I have any cactus on me? No. <laughs> Shoot. Ah, okay, let's see if we can get a little cactus really quickly. Super quickly. I don't think I have much in that chest back there anyway. All right. Butterfly, I'm sorry I ignored you. I harvested most of my cactus already from over here. So I'm not sure if it's had time to collect. Ooh, I ignored this stuff. That'll do it. It's not a lot, but it's probably enough. Yeah, it's starting to regrow. Okay, good. I'll take that one. Okay, let us make cactus lamps. No. No. Yes. Okay, I'm tempted to make a bunch of them, but I made about a thousand pumpkin tables, and I decided that was probably stupid when all was said and done. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I forgot to say hello to him. Oh, yeah! Perfect. I knew there was a reason I didn't end the episode yet. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God! <laughs> you, you, when you're away from this thing for a little bit, it all of a sudden becomes more striking. Okay, and how about you? And get rid of you. There we go. I think that's a little better. I think that's a little better. And I'm almost tempted to get rid of these pumpkins just to make this again fade back a little bit more what if I got rid of those pumpkins and this back up there Ooh, I think that's a little bit better I don't think I needed the pumpkin there good and a regular torch maybe here and here. Trying to balance the light. No, that's too... It's lined up too well with the sides there. Alright, I don't like any of it. Get rid of those again. Okay. Alright. I think it's alright. Now I'm starting to not like these guys here. I feel like that's... It's it's not weighted right. Like, all the stuff is down here. There should be some stuff up here. I'll think about stuff in between episodes, and then maybe we'll tinker next episode. Alright. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a pleasant day. Take it easy. See you later. Goodbye.